Go laugh. <laughs> you were like, you look like you were fucking swilling your mouth out. <laughs> I was. I'm, I'm like getting my mouth like appropriately moist. I can't do this on a dry mouth and I can't do it welcome, too wet. Welcome back to keeping it wet. Welcome back. <clears throat> uh, right. Doing it again. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Keeping It Real review. I'm your host, James, joined by Jack to talk Disney's Strange World. If you haven't heard of this movie, I don't blame you because I also <laughs> have no idea what this was. Uh, before we dive into the review, I just want to remind you all we are on Twitter at Keeping It Real UK. Give us a follow and from there. You can find links to all of our streaming platforms and social media. We are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Instagram, and TikTok. Whichever app you use to listen to your podcast, make sure to follow us, like us, or give us a five-star rating. It really helps us out. We're also on YouTube and love, love to have you all as subscribers so you never miss another video. Right, Disney's Strange World. The Clades are a legendary family of explorers who, whose differences threaten to topple their latest and most crucial mission into uncharted and treacherous territory. Directed by Don Hall and starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Dennis Quaid, and Jabuki Young-White, the movie released on November 23rd, 2022, currently sits at its 74% critic rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Too damn high, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm going first. This movie fucking <laughs> sucked. <laughs> this, this is one of the most forgettable, boring-ass Disney movies I've seen in years. Jake Gyllenhaal, my boy... <laughs> what, what are you doing? This was must just have been, it must ass. have been a, page, a paycheck thing. Yeah, the easiest surely. one of his life because okay, I'll I'll say this about the movie. I like I like the design. I think there's some good design influences, story influences, like you know, it's very Jules Verne, very journey to the center of the earth type of stuff. I liked how all the creatures were very like sort of like gelatinous and mysterious. And we re again, it makes sense at the end upon the revelation of where we are. Um, the design makes sense, but I thought that was cool. Just couldn't have give a single shit about any of these characters. This story's rushed. It, there's so many beats where it's just way too quick. We open the movie Jake Gyllenhaal loses his father basically straight away. So their connection dynamic, I just don't care. So when they do finally come back, nothing. Um, yeah, I fell asleep for like a good five minutes. That was lovely. Um, <laughs> what <laughs> do you there's, think? There's a video of it. <laughs> there, there is video evidence. Uh, Jack, what do you think of Strange World? Man, I think of I think of fuck, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like I, I, oh god, I was just so bored. Yeah, the whole fucking movie, and like I think I said to you afterwards, I don't think many Disney movies these days have the same like they don't pack the same punch and have the same magic that they used to. No, nah. um, but like what like, we were trying to rack our brains for, like there's usually one Disney animated movie a year. Um, I think last year was Raya and the Last Dragon, and I thought this was that was way better than what this is. Yeah, I, I put this probably, straight on Disney Plus, so yeah, I don't I really, have to watch it. I really liked Raya and the Last Dragon, and I and I I only watched that on Disney Plus. And after yeah. watching it, I was like, I wish I saw that in a fucking cinema. Yeah, like that was a good movie. It was interesting. There were all these different like cool elements to it, and like in a, in a film called Strange World. Like you know, I I I don't know what I was expecting. Like I expected more strange shit. I wanted some weird stuff. I wanted some weird stuff, you know. And like the characters didn't give a shit. Did not care. Um, the only person I cared about was my boy Splat. Yeah, he was a, he was a, he was a good boy, wasn't he? And that's because he's just he's basically Flubber. He's just BB8 and Flubber. Yeah, that's what. And, oh, that's all he was. And we love Flubber on this podcast. We do. Yeah, I thought my uh, uh, I thought my dad was the star of Flubber for. For a while, remember that. Which is um, which is funny because you'd argue that Flubber is the st is the star of Flubber. So that's like you saying that you thought your dad that was, was a no. Robin green Williams dude. was the Flubber, wasn't he? Yeah, was he Flubber Lang? Um, Robin Flubber Lang. We'll, we'll talk about the plot a bit. Um, so the the yeah the Clades are this uh, family of explorers. Jake Gyllenhaal, I guess, is the first one in this family to sort of diverge from that path he wants to be a farmer um 
sort of exploring for more of the right reasons, less so just for for pride and ego, but to help his his world and his society. So he he has discovered this plant that they call. So it looks like a sprout. It looks like it's a like sprout, a and it's sprout. electrical and magical, and and they're basically batteries. And I can't remember what they're called. Um, but yeah, he's he's farming this. This is what powers. Oh, would they live? <laughs> I can't I remember. Would they live? I don't know. That's, uh, yeah, but it powers their civilization. For, for reference as well, uh, James watched this an hour ago. <laughs> 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 I've literally not been back from this movie for what, that long, and I can't remember it. Uh, yeah, so they uh, go down to the center of the earth. They take a journey to the center of the earth to figure out why this this plant now that is powering the civilization that is the plant dying is called pando pando i know it was which a pain. powers their which powers their their turtle back Al- country avalonia avalonia that's it um yeah so they go down there um because they believe their source of life is is being attacked when they get down there they see all these uh, magical creatures and stuff and they just assume they are the bad guys turns out that Aval- Avalonia was at it yeah is 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 not just a country or a, a world i wasn't really sure of where we were um that is, but it is in fact a a living thing itself turns out the pando was the infection that is I couldn't be sure. <laughs> yeah. So then at the end they have to get rid of the pando. They find a different way to power their civilization. And yeah, what was that. what was the different way? Couldn't tell you. Do they ever is that ever explained? I don't do think it was suddenly, suddenly he's just growing tomatoes. Just at the end, yeah, they they were in the ship. And it powered something. Was it wind power? I guess there was a a turbine Maybe. of some sort. Um, also, also, the rev- the revelation that they live on the back of basically a turtle. Um, surely they noticed the like if the turtle like swims about and stuff and moves. Surely the climate changes. <laughs> like, sh- sh- yeah. like one like one year it's like you know. December, I, well, I thought cold. it was very much going to be like the the Stephen King thing of we are on the back of a big turtle in outer space. But this was just a big turtle on Earth. Yeah, and what if and what if it like tries to? What if it needs to submerge? <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> You're They're all gonna die. Fuck. All, Thank God, there's a what, turtle that likes air. What you said about like the beginning of the movie when he, you know, like he loses his dad almost straight away. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that bit. Like, there's obviously things that we don't see before the movie starts, like underlying tensions throughout his life. <laughs> But they don't do that. They don't do anything with that. They, oh just, they just we see it at the climax where he's like, "No, Dad!" Like that's almost like his first fucking words. He's like, "We need to go this way," and he's like, "No, Dad, I've had enough." I'm like, where's that boiling point come from? We haven't seen. Yeah, it. Like, oh, it. you're already there, J. <laughs> yeah, you're Jesus. There. Why are you so livid? Like we don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I, oh, I want to be a yeah. farmer. Um, and, and also the um, the like brief villain switch at the end of Luke is it who's plays is it Lucy Luke? Yes. Um a brief villain Luke. switch. They try to ex- they, they try to explain themselves to her. She locks them in a cupboard, tries to do her own thing. Five minutes later they're out. She manages to explain to her and then she's just back on their side. And they don't say anything afterwards. Yeah. They're just like, oh good thing we sorted it out. But I'd be like, you fucking tried to lock me up. Uh, what I will, what I will say, this is um, a lot of the Disney movies where they've sort of been like, yeah, you know, yeah, we've got a we've got a gay character, we've got a gay character, and then it's very like it's, it's way in the back, or it's one little small kiss on the cheek, and they're they're really hiding it. Props to Strange World, one of our main characters, um, is is gay. Uh, the the family at the core of this is a mixed race family, so I'm. You know, props for representation in these movies. That's but, important. But also, I like... love the mum character. Um, I can't remember her name. Let me look. <laughs> well, Gabriel, it's Gabrielle Union, isn't it? But I don't know. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I like, I like that character a lot. Yeah. Did you know that? 
Real Junior is 50. She's 50 years old. Hollywood man. We need to get um, famous Same. so we never die. Um, what you were saying about like representation and that. Yeah. Yeah, that's all really like that's all really cool and it's like really positive. But then again, um, like this film, I don't know if it's just me, I didn't see a trailer for it. I've barely seen it fucking marketed. That's yeah, that, yeah, so, right. So like, this movie has got that and it should appeal to a lot of uh, different audiences, but they've not marketed this film at all. I I didn't see a single trailer. No. I, Jake Gyllenhaal's not really been around like promoting it. It seems like they wanted all, to hide all the, this. Well, all the promotion for it, I've only just seen like a week after watching the movie. <laughs> like I'm only seeing it like people posting on YouTube, like you know all the classic fucking uh, like junkets they do playing yeah. all those fucking games. I've only uh, like I'm seeing stuff posted like this was posted two days ago. And I'm like, the film's out. So, like, <laughs> it's useless film's, now. This film's been out for a week. Yeah, I haven't seen any of this before, and like yeah, like. That representation is cool in the movie and it is important, and that should be like they don't. And I yeah, they don't talk well, like about market it, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, was, I, I yeah, I don't have a lot else to say about this movie. It's honestly so forgettable. This would have been much better just on Disney Plus. So I'd you know I probably wouldn't have wasted my time with it if it was on Disney Plus. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, like should we should we give this a rating out of five? I don't have much yeah. else unless you do. No, I've got nothing. Go on then. Uh, <laughs> two and a half. Um, purely, like we said, like all that representation is important and it is cool in the movie. Again, they didn't do anything fucking with it in terms of marketing it to people. Yeah, and like the animation is good. <laughs> That's it, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, like yeah, looks fine. Um. Just didn't really have any of the charm of a normal of a no. regular Disney movie. D- Dis- Disney movie is supposed to be like effortless to watch, but this felt like yeah. how long is this movie? Like a hundred minutes, and I felt like I was there for about three hours. Yeah, an hour. Yeah, an hour forty. Yeah, and I, yeah, I just wanted it to end. Really, I wanted to go. Um, I did. I did have this at a two and a half on Letterboxd. I'm bumping it down to a two, considering I came out of this movie an hour and a half ago, and I can't remember anything about it. <laughs> This is yeah, um, yeah. This conversation has definitely made me hate it more. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm like glad that like I'm glad that I I'm not alone just thinking this movie just fucking sucked because I wasn't too bothered about going to see this. Like it was on our list of things to possibly watch and review. You went to go check it out, and I was like, oh, I'm not too. Firstly, was... no, you have to, and now I've seen it. <laughs> it would yeah. have been a waste I've of seen... time. Yeah. Like if it was like a sick movie, and then you were like, oh, "I'm not gonna do it," I'd be like, "Oh, that's cool." Like but at least you had the movie. movie, yeah. But I went, I went, and I paid for this fucking movie. Mm-hmm. I'm so angry. I fucking paid for it. <laughs> it just fucking sucked. And when you were like, "Oh yeah, I might get to it," I was like, "No, I was <laughs> you're like, gonna get into it. Watch it. You're watching this fucking movie." So what I did for you, I watched this at nine forty-five a.m. <laughs> fucking so tired, and this just for this. For Didn't this 12 help. minute this 12 minute burn down of this yeah, fucking movie. I swear to god, if this gets like 10 views, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking <laughs> done. <laughs> yeah. When we when we advertise this episode, we need to really emphasize that we fucking like we're kicking off. We yeah, know, like, like you need to, to make this, this worth it for fucking, us. This movie please, sucked. guys. Please uh, fucking watch yeah, it. Yeah. Um so that's like an average of 2.25 out of five from us. Um, yeah, <laughs> glowing review. Well done, Disney. You go. Uh, that is it for our review. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back next week with reviews. Well, no, we'll be back later this week. We've got reviews for Andor, Glass Onion, Bones and All, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. What else is out this week? Violent Night with David Harbour. That looks fun. Reese is gonna love that one. Um, yeah, I I shout on that, and then um, I just apparently it's really good, and it looks really funny. Yeah, so. um, yeah, there's that. There's the Infernal Machine with Guy Pierce that I, me and Reese want to go see. That doesn't probably won't be very good. Uh, she said that, with Carrie Mulligan and Zoe Kazan, I need to check out at some point. Is that Matilda? Musical? I'm not watching Matilda. Um, I'm okay. I hate little girls. 
I don't I don't <laughs> like Matilda. That first movie made me so uncomfortable. Where they make the well, kid, where they force musical. feed, yeah, but they force oh, feed Bruce. the kid the cake, and I, I genuinely had nightmares about that when I was a kid. I was but like, what fucking, would I do? Yeah, but you, sir, he fucking nails it. Bruce he does, but he, kid. God, that he looks so uncomfortable and full, and God, no, he, he actually is. Fucking, it was yeah, not that... even like a, not even like a, a, a victorious one. It was like a full fucking devil's food cake. Yeah, couldn't do it. Not for me. I don't want to watch Matilda. <laughs> Just gets it happens again. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be back with all those reviews. We've got an episode of our podcast from last week where we talked about Indiana Jones 5, the Elon Musk Twitter debacle, did a few quizzes. That was fun. And we'll have another episode um, coming out this Friday as well. So make sure you check that out. Go to YouTube, subscribe, like, share. That would be great. Thank you very much. Until then, keep it real. <laughs>